Give us a sense of where things stand right now with the Chiefs and your contract. Um, can't really talk about it. Um, hopefully it gets worked out. You know, um, it's always been my goal to be a Kansas City Chiefs for life. I, um, I've said that multiple times on social media platforms, from interviews, and they know where I, my position is at, and uh, hopefully we can get something worked out. For the Has long this term. been frustrating for you? And how did you describe what it's been like? It's been okay, peaceful for me. I've been in Miami uh, just training, uh, staying focused, understanding that uh, this is a process. You miss your teammates, though, you guys, you know, I mean, all the OTAs, mini camps, and all that stuff. Do you miss that part of it right now? Um, I've been keeping in contact with my teammates. Uh, I'm still working out every day, still doing similar things that they do in training camp. Uh, the commodity, you know, we got a lot of new players. I uh, miss that aspect of it, but I'll be ready to go when that time falls. Chris, do you feel like you've let, let your teammates down at all? That's the criticism. That's the only criticism I've heard at all. How? That's what I got to ask. How have I let them down? Um, but just like um, when you had a job and you, you ask for a stitcher, right? And you ask for a raise, right? You're not letting anyone down. Who are you letting down for asking your boss for a raise, right? So um, when, you, when you take the personal feelings out of it, you kind of can get it. All I'm doing is asking for a raise. What's the Chris, plan for tomorrow for you? Are you going to watch the game? Um, I don't know yet, man. I, I don't know. I, I could be playing. I could be on the sideline. I don't know. Uh, we'll see tomorrow. Chris, is it still your intentions to, to be with the team in 2024 and future years, or will this conversation sort of change maybe your ongoing look about maybe playing? Jason, how's your brother doing? I mean, getting banged up this week with his knee in yeah. Kansas City. How is he? I took it to him yesterday, and I've done the same thing. You know, you, you, you just plant or, you know, you do something and your knee hyperextends. Actually, I mean, if I'm being truthful, the last time I did this, I was making a bonfire outside. And <laughs> I, was, I, thought, I thought I was strong enough to kick a piece of wood in half. And I hyperextended my knee and did the same thing, <laughs> bone bruise. Oh, no. So, um, you know. I don't I'll recall you missing game. any time for that, Jason. No, no. It was in the middle of the season, but my knee did swell up. And I was like, man, that was the dumbest thing I've done in a long time. But, um, yeah, Trav, this was out on the field. He did, uh, I know he's got some swelling going on. Uh, but as it sounds like as long as they can get that down, yeah. um, you know, He's going to have a chance to go. The ligaments and everything are intact structurally. Uh, from what we know right now, uh, his knee's fine. So really it's about getting that swelling down and then seeing how bruised that bone is. Because you know, if, you, if you guys have ever had those, they can be yeah. pretty painful, especially if it's in a spot that's rubbing all the time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that can kind of shut down your muscles and do other things. But I think he's going to be good to go. I really do. Thank you and good afternoon. We are hours away from football. It'll be the Chiefs and the Lions. Here we go over that in full. The top ten players, let's name them on the Lions. Number ten, Frank Wagonamu. Edge, Adrian Hutchinson, number nine. Tyler Deck, eight. Number seven, Jared Gush. Joanna Jackson, guard. Number eight, QB Jared Goff. Number nine, Cam Sutton. Number ten, Corby Joseph. Defense of the Lions, ranking 28th and top five in points. The Lions outscored, the Lions outscored their opponents for 53-427. to Advancing their record to 9-8. Pass win rate, 1.3. When Jones is not on the field for the Kansas City Chiefs for defense, the Chiefs finished second last season in sacks with 55. Against the Lions, they will be on a mission to find other players sacking other players without Chris Jones. It is 15 and a half sacks if he does not play, which he will not. Jemire Gibbs and David Montgomery look out for the backs for the 
Lion. Isaiah Pacheco and Clyde Edwards Alaire and Jarek McCann both look out for for the running back position. We look at the wide receiver position, Kadarius Tony and Sky Moore and Mark Valdez Valdez Scantley. Wide receivers for the Lions are most St. Brown, Melvin Jones Jr. The tight ends, we look at Sam Laporte, rookie tight end. If Kelsey plays, obviously Kelsey. Otherwise, it'll be Noah Gray. And maybe some snaps for um, Justin Ross. And also at the tight end, Blake Bell. On the left tackle for the Kansas City Chiefs, it's Devontae Smith. And on the left tackle for the Lions, it's Taylor Decker. On the right side for the Kansas City Chiefs, Jawan Taylor. And on the right side for the, the Lions, Penny Swool. On the center side for the Kansas City Chiefs, Creed Cut Humphrey and Frank Wagano on the center side. On the... This guy on the Lions that I have no idea how to mount, what the hell is his name, I don't know. That name. And on the left guard for the Kansas City Chiefs, Joe Tooney. And on the right guard for the Kansas City Chiefs, Trey Smith. On left guard for the Lions, Joa Jackson. Defense. Left end, Adrian Hutchinson for the Lions. George Kalaftis and Felix Imendoka. First round pick out of... Kansas State, Umandoka. Both of these guys are left sins. Another left in for the Lions, Adrian Hutchinson. Defensive tackle for the Chiefs, Tarshawn Wharton. Defensive tackle for the Chiefs, Azumi Umandoka. Defensive tackle for... The Lions, Aim McNeil for the Lions. Isaiah Bugs, some people think he's hinted at a trade for Chris Jones. They have tweeted back and forth. Linebacker Derek Barnes. Linebacker Willie Gay on the Chiefs. And Nick Bolton on the Lions. Anzalone. Anzalone. Lions. Cornerbacks Cam Sutton, Brian Branch. Cornerbacks Chiefs, Legeria Sneed and Trent McDuffie. Safeties, Kirby Joseph and Justin Reed. And the other safety, Brian Cook, his first year starting. Kicker, Harrison Butker at the kicker spot for the Kansas City Chiefs. Punter, Tommy Townsend. And punt returner, Ricky James. Cornerbacks for the Lions, Cam Sutton and Brian Branch. Kicker for the Chiefs, Harrison Butker. Punter, Tommy Townsend. Punt returner, Jake Ricky James. Kick returner, Daenerik Prince. Lions kicker, Riley Price. Place kicker, Ryan Patterson. Pump returner and kick returner, Cliff Raymond. Raymond, expect a high run rate for the Chiefs and for the Lions at 9.1. That's their highest run rate. And the Chiefs are 11 and 11.5 for the standings for the AFC West. That we have gone over this week. I've got the Chiefs finishing 12 and 5 or 11 and 6. Chargers 10 and 7, 11 and 6. Still picking the Chiefs to win it. Raiders 8 and 9, Broncos 8 and 9. Without Chris Jones to start the season. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report, and Travis Kelsey is questionable to some reported leaning towards out. I've got the Chiefs 26 20 with. Al Kelsey, I've got the Chiefs 30 to 20 with Kelsey. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam's 4J Poor.